hello friends welcome back to my channel my name is Wolo I live in Winnipeg Manitoba and I talk about life in Canada and immigrating to Canada so if this is the first time you are seeing my face or seeing any of my videos just I beg you click on the subscribe button and just give a thumbs up to this video whether you like it or you don't like it I just want you to give a thumbs up to this video or destroy the thumbs up button whatever anyway um a lot of things have happened this past week and of course i talked about it last week and guess what trudeau was actually on his knees in support of the black lives movement people who were protesting and he took a knee um just to show that he is an ally of black people and yeah so i think canada is far better than the united states of course you know the person in the united states will not do that but our prime minister is someone who has people at heart and he wouldn't mind doing anything that will make people like be comfortable and um you know so that life can go on anyway that's not what i want to talk about today <laughs> okay so today's video is actually one of the most frequently asked questions i have received and it has to do with the caregiver pilot and i've actually done a video about the caregiver pilot some months back that was last year like 2019 when the caregiver pilot was launched and i've received tons of emails concerning the caregiver pilot um, asking if it is possible to come to canada as a caregiver and then switch careers um, will it affect anything now the truth is if you come to canada as a caregiver it is expected that you have to work for two years before you can even apply for your permanent resident um, status so before you even apply you need to write ielts which of course people are still asking me this question you have to write ielts you have to you need to have evaluated your credential and then you need to search for a family that is recruiting caregiver so that if you get a job offer you will add the job offer to your application when you're applying for work permit so you have to come to canada as a work permit holder first and then after two years of working for that family they'll have to validate that you have worked for them for two years before you can apply for a permanent resident status but if you come to canada as a caregiver and then you abandon the caregiving job and get something else you cannot apply for the caregiver pilot program and it violates the conditions of your work permit status because they already have your details so you can't just trick the immigration officer to say okay blah 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 they have your details already and they know that you applied as a caregiver and got a work permit and then came to canada so um i mean i don't understand why you will come to canada as a caregiver and then quickly switch within one year to another um job role that has nothing to do with caregiving and then expect to apply for a permanent resident status you know so do not complicate issues if you if you want to come to canada as a caregiver please just be patient exercise patience for the two years you work as a caregiver apply for your permanent resident status once you get your permanent resident status then you can now change careers to whatever you want because it does not make any sense to come and then abandon what brought you to canada to do something else by the time you want to apply for a permanent resident status they'll look at your history they'll look at the former application you submitted and it could result to misrepresentation so um this question is for the person who sent it please if you're thinking of using the caregiver pilot as a means to come to canada then abandoning it to do something else just know that something will might be waiting for you in the front the same thing applies to the agri pilot that was just launched recently so i've received lots of emails concerning that asking is it possible to apply for maybe any of these farm jobs and then come to canada and then switch um program to something else now like i mentioned in the video i did for the agri pilot you need a one-year work experience in canada 
so it will just make sense for you to just remain put get the one year work experience and then apply for your permanent resident status so don't abandon it midway and look for something else it's just a sacrifice for the period that you will be here if you come under work permit just sacrifice that one year and then after one year you'll be eligible to apply for the permanent resident status so so that's what i want to share concerning the caregiver pilot and the agri pilot um immigration pathway then another question i have received so much from so many people is regards to getting work permits and then people dealing with fraudulent agents because i know that with these two pilots that requires you searching for a job it's very easy for um fraud stars to kind of present job offers to people and have received so many emails from people saying they are dealing with agents they've paid so much money concerning a job they've gotten work permit and i'm even investigating a lot of these things trying to call the employers some of them have responded to me some of them some of them are yet to respond to me please if you are going to search for a job i prefer that you deal with the company directly rather than dealing with an agent because if you're dealing with the company directly um you will know that your application is in good hands rather than dealing with a third party who will tell you oh i can search for a job for you and blah 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 i can arrange something for you it's very difficult to know if the person that is arranging something for you is genuine or not so for you to avoid a situation where your application is falling to the wrong hands and you must have paid somebody money the person who got arrange one job offer that is not even genuine and give it to you and apply for a work permit for you and then they now deny you the work permit it is better to just do it yourself and deal with the companies directly now the thing is a lot of people do not know that some of these companies also in canada some of them are fraudulent so before you start applying for any job in canada you have to do your due diligence you have to search the website very well and also confirm that the job that you're applying for is a genuine job confirm that the company is based in canada and do all your due diligence you need to do your due diligence properly before you even apply for any job in canada if you're going to be dealing with an agent please don't send me an email to verify whatever i'm tired of receiving those emails like seriously you're giving me the work of an investigator <laughs> and i don't like that kind of work where i have to be calling employers to confirm oh is this employment offer genuine is this employment offer not genuine and most of the time all the employment offers i've seen so far all of them are just fraudulent employment offers where they will use canada's i'll show you a sample of one of the fraudulent offer letter offer lmia that i received please if you are going to look for a job it's better that you do the job search yourself and confirm that the company is based in canada do not pay anybody money to do a job search for you most times licensed immigration consultants do not even um, help people to search for jobs there's only few licensed consultants that do that so it is better to do the job search yourself if you want to come to canada as an agricultural worker i've left a lot of websites in the canada info hub ig page you can go there and pick them up i also left the website on the agri pilot video when i did it the last time and please just it's better to apply to these companies directly rather than looking for a third party to search for jobs for you so this is the information i want to share today thank you so much for watching and i am hoping that this week will be a good week for all of us this year has been so funny and um yeah so please stay safe and we hope that everything ends like all the negative news we are hearing we are tired of hearing them let it end so that we can move on with our lives thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye